Hey, hey, Jeff here again. So, I got a couple uh, of the uh, limited run vinyl pre orders in the mail. So, I wanted to show some of those. The limited run vinyl series is put out by four main publishers we've got Retroactive Records, Rocks Records, Girder Records, and No Life Till Metal Records. So what we've got is a reissue of vinyl on small limited quantities, usually one, two, three hundred, depending on the uh, topic. So first up, what we've got here, and this is actually, it's technically on retroactive, but it's actually, I'll show you in a second, it's sort of a different. Of Gods and Monsters, if you're not familiar with this project band, it came out in the end of 2020 on CD, and now we've got it on vinyl. And if you notice here, it's kind of a power super group there. we got Kevin Gucher of Omen, ex-Omen, Joey Tofola, used to be in Jag Panzer way back in the day, Dean Castronova, he's been in all kinds of bands, including Journey, and he recently was in the Dead Daisies. He's also Revolution Saints. He's He's... He's all over the place. And then Tim Gaines is the former bass player for Striper. Now, Dean and Joey used to be... Well, they worked together back in 1991 on Joey's... One of his instrumental albums on Shrapnel Records back in 91. And that is one of the early times when I learned of Dean. Dean was one of those drummers that played on a lot of the instrumental albums that these Shrapnel uh, guitar shredders were putting out so he was popping up at different places and that's when i kind of fell in love with his playing style and learned more about him and so that is interesting to see the two of them working together again so yeah it is a u.s power metal feel uh straightforward metal great stuff and what i was saying about labels is okay so technically it's copyright retroactive but it is on brutal planet records now brutal planet records would be the more or less the retroactive project side for mainstream non-christian labels because if you're familiar with limited run vinyl a lot of them are christian reissues christian bands christian metal bands because that is what rocks and retroactive and girder specialize in but you've got no life to metal and brutal planet which are mainstream so yeah of gods and monsters would not be classified you know as a uh, religious or christian band so great stuff great stuff uh i hope it's not a one-off project that it's something more to come because it is just great stuff it's on kind of a translucent red it's got the standard lyric sheet insert and then we got a band picture of all four members here and then that is also a 24 by 24 poster that comes with it of that same image so kind of a little added fun there yeah so just top-notch straightforward metal melodic power metal feel just you have to check these guys out if you're into that kind of style because it is just great what they've got together going on here so up next are two other limited run vinyl which actually were just recently put on the site for pre-order i'm assuming now they're waiting until things are a little further down the line because there's been so many delays with vinyl getting produced because of everything going on in the mail and everything they must have put these up when they knew they were almost ready because we just pre-ordered these like it seems just like a couple weeks ago a month or two or so ago whereas usually with the limited run vinyl you may pre-order them months in advance so pre-ordered them and then all of a sudden boom they're here and they send them and they sent them priority mail so boom they got here really quick too now this is i'm going to show this one first i guess this is thresher now thresher is a christian thrash band from pennsylvania back in the day 89 this came out on cassette it was a custom released cassette it wasn't a demo it was a professional you know made cassette and it, six songs thrash you know middle of the road um not too heavy not too light um i mean i hate to use this as a comparison but think along the lines of like the heaviest version of metallica's the black album so it's got you know just solid thrash with 
decipherable lyrics and vocals and all that so it came out back then this is a uh, first time on vinyl because it was only released on cassette back in the day it's got the standard insert there cover art on the back it does have a bonus track that was not on the original and it's just on regular black wax here first handful of orders I guess ended up getting the sticker now back in the day uh, 2009 rocks records released a second Thresher album on CD that we had never heard it was I guess unreleased and that just you know shocked a lot of us because those of us who love totally possessed really wanted to hear more never really got anything from them they never got signed or anything and then he releases finds a CD and I mean finds and releases a CD of here I am now if you ordered fast enough you ended up getting so it's you know you end up getting a second bonus disc which was a CDR high quality CDR version of totally possessed so that would have been the first time on CD and like I said there's a bonus track on the vinyl that's not on the CD and then back then also you got a sticker square sticker so now I got two stickers so that came out here I am and of course so now that also is on vinyl so now we have both Thresher releases on vinyl both have been reissued and remastered on separate CDs which I don't really need because I have the other but I'm sure somewhere down the road when a big Black Friday or you know Memorial Day sale goes on and everything's marked down really cheap if those show up inexpensively I'll probably pick them up just to have the newer remastered CD edition so same with this it's got an insert with the lyrics it's also on black and again just uh, stain your picture there so that was really exciting to finally have those those like I said they were classics back in the day now the band before they changed the name to Thresher and before they became more thrash oriented were called Lazarus and they had a cassette custom you know high quality custom cassette out uh, breaking into the night I think that's the right name that I absolutely fell in love with before they became Thresher not a drastic style change but Thresher's a little more thrash for sure but still same vocals and everything it's just I'd love to see that on CD and vinyl hint hint uh, that would be the whole catalog of what these guys have released great band great stuff and I'm glad to have those now the only other thing I got in was a while back I showed those, that video where I got a bunch of the Van Halen unofficial releases and the newer one that I got had a big this the edge was had a big piece of vinyl missing so you couldn't really play the first song you had to jump into it at least 30 seconds before it would kind of there was no edge so I took it back and he said he would try to get another one ordered he said I could go ahead and trade it in for something else so I just kind of went through kind of in a hurry I picked up a couple Saxon albums these are just kind of to fill the holes um, I things that I needed these are the reissues that are on the color you know the, the, the color vinyl I figured they've been in the store they came out a couple years ago obviously hit nobody bought them from him so I thought well I'll take them off his hands and just pay the difference if he can get the Van Halen back in then I'll go back and purchase it again now he did email me earlier this morning before I got this and said that he received the latest email flyer from his distributor and it doesn't mention anything about Van Halen I'm assuming what he's trying to tell me there is that the dealer is not offering them right now or whatever so I don't know I may not be able to get it back I may not be able to get it from him at least and the other place online that most everybody else is getting it is also out of stock so but anyway we'll see that was a uh, would be great to have but whatever that's it for now thanks a lot for watching rock on